Today, let's learn about flowers. We'll do so by separating a flower and learning about each individual part. Click on the part of the flower box and we can get started. Let's take a closer look at the leaf. Leaves grow out of the stem of the flower and they are green because they are filled with something called chlorophyll. When the sun shines onto the leaves, the chlorophyll turns the sunlight into food for the plant. See those little lines running along the leaves? Those are veins and they're pretty similar to the veins in the human body. The veins in the leaf bring the plant all the nutrients they need from the stem and this allows the flower to grow. Let's take a look at the stem next. The stem is connected to a bunch of roots below the ground and acts similarly to a straw. The roots suck up the water and the nutrients in the ground and all of it flows into the stem so that the flower can grow. Let's take a closer look at the flower next. Flowers make a sugary liquid for pollinators like bees to eat. The beautiful color and fragrance are used to call out to attract pollinators. If we remove the petals of the flower, what we are left with are these long tubes called stamen, and that's what makes the pollen. When a pollinator like a bee eats the nectar, the pollen gets stuck to the bees, and now when the pollinators go to another flower, the pollen spreads to the other flowers, who then use the pollen to make seeds. 